Gry. Me. Gry me. Man, you always do that, are you? Always steal my chicks. Sorry, mate, you know, boo hoo for you, eh? Gry me a river. <laughs> Gry me a river. Know the boy D double do it all day. Oceanis 2! Yeah! The Samoa! Yes! Uh, we're here for the premiere, or oh, well, the Samoa premiere. It's a lovely film full of laughs and freshies, just like today's show. Check it out! The welcome that we've been given and the vibe from all the people here just makes us feel really good. It's a show you know and everybody has come to support and watch. You want to try and put on a good show for them? I'm not sure what it is about me that people like and keep giving me work. I don't think I want to know either. <laughs> I bet you're excited, eh? Now, sometimes as an actor, I get pretty excited when it's going on to perform and stuff like that. And because sometimes when I'm standing there, people just have like little digs at me, especially Robbie. But the worst one he does is when he farts backstage and everyone just runs and we're trying to. It's when the audience. Yeah. I can fart anytime If you're like anything it. like MMA fighter Brandon Ropati, where's Dave? He will be doing crunches. Who's he that guy? will be doing fisty cuffs. He will be doing uppercut, lower cut, cut, all the cuts in the world. And then, so we'll get some action music, and maybe you'll see why he is a real knockout. It's even me. Just can go anywhere. So I just think about what I'm gonna do. I don't worry about what he's gonna do to me. My dad, you know, is always into sports and stuff like that, and it's the discipline and commitment. It's what I learned from my old men. Growing up in the Fasa Moway. Been training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for four years, competed in Jiu Jitsu for three years, mixed martial arts for about a year and a half, and um, in myself three years, hopefully, I'll be fighting on the big stage in uh, America in the UFC. Mixed martial arts is a combination of all martial arts. And striking is, is boxing, Muay Thai, karate, kickboxing, and grappling is more the judo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, like mat wrestling. Fair moves are uh, armbar. I catch armbar quite quite well. I like to get mount, drop some, um, some fist in the face from mount position. Side control, like to drop some elbows. You step over with a two. And he's pretty balanced all over, you know. So it's just more of everything. That's that's what he needs. It's just more of everything, more time, you know, more mat. The hardest part is the diet. I love my island food, so I can't really have the taro as much. Weighing day is always the hardest. I um, basically don't eat any food. I don't drink any water, I have to go in the sauna, just make sure I'm on weight for weighing. And uh, my favourite time is um, after the weigh-ins when I can just go and pig out and just have a massive feed. Yeah, that's when I'm, I'm happy. We are all here tonight to support him in his, uh, in his sport and in his fight, and we wish him well. I'll be the, the last fight of the night. There's always that in anticipation from the, the crowd and the audience that um, the last fight is the best fight. Can you feel it? That's a show you know, and everybody has come to support and, and watch. You want to try and put on a good show for them? supporters behind there and they all want to congratulate to you and uh, well done thank you and stop being, 
Stop eating too much. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to get my cold KFC. In high school, I was watching it on TV. Now I'm doing it, and um, I'm, I'm a professional. It's much less fighter. And, um, yeah, it's a dream come true. That's what it, that's what it means to me. another episode of the iPhone where I put the know in technology. Today we're having a look at the breathalyzer 3001. This is strictly used by the police in the alcohol law mentioned on selection 13. You know what? This is a really handy tool to have for all the women and the ladies that like to play up because who rule the world? Hmm? Yeah, girls. You know what it's like when you wake up in the morning and you got a somers on your eyes? It's caused by the poison. The poison in the airwaves. I love to you, my talent. Let's make a laugh. Yeah. I want to make love to you too, baby. Woo! Ah, uh, did you brush your teeth today? Yeah, no, yeah, yes, mm, yes. Mm. Then how come the prefilize is reading hello? Maybe it's just to say hello. Goodbye. You know my daughter? She's wonderful. She's a wonderful liar. Hi, Mother. I'm going with the girls. We're going to go read Bible scriptures at the rest home. Oh, that's so nice. Go on, then. Come back here, Missy. What's the scripture you're going to be reading to the old people? Uh, you, you know, the, the one where Jesus parted the sea. Yeah, yeah. Now get back into your room before I throw you into the sea and you can go and meet Jesus himself right now. Coming up on Fresh. I like seeing your name, Robbie. You really get me excited. You make me go red. Ma! Old! Mold! Come on, girl, let's go have a dance. Sorry, I'm not in the mold. <laughs> Aloha ni Freshies, and welcome back to Fresh. My name is Yaheto Ahi and I play Stanley. He's a youngish and naive but likeable character in the film. You know, I remember one of my first gigs out of drama school. I was in a play called A Frigga Bird Sings and I played a, a character called Billy, who was a Fafa Fene. It was a lot of fun because I got to dress up like my sister but legit on stage wearing lipstick and dresses and everyone thought it was okay. But I never really, you know, I never really discovered the roots of Fafafene. But this next segment should reveal all. In some Know your roots. Because next time you have a debate with someone, make sure your fax machine is plugged in. Egg stupid. Deep in the Pacific jungle live the islands of the Pacific called the Pacific Islands. Mmm. But one country you might have heard of is Samoa. If you haven't heard of Samoa, I'm sure you've dreamed about it. You know, The Rock, Khan Fotuali, and SBW. Yes, the guy in the picture, not the car. Yes, in Samoa, you have the spunky guys and, of course, the smelly licious women. Funny and funny. I didn't say that. Yes, I did. And on top of the icing cake, the third gender of Samoa and the queens of the scene, no, not Queen Salote, we are talking about the Fafa Finis. That's right, girl! Now, we've all wondered why sometimes Auntie sings bass in the church choir. Have we? Anyway, here's a little bit of insight of who, what, when, where, why, how far, and wherefore art thou fafafine facts. The defining of the word fafafine simply means like a woman and is used to describe a boy who's too cool for rugby shorts and ear fight gangas. Yeah, take the metaphor before I fall your ulu with it. What? One popular idea about why there's so many fafafine is that back in the day, there were too many boys. So then one of them takes on the girls' jobs because he was a bit lazy. And who else is gonna help mum clean the house? Huh? The Fafafines of the village were known to be the ones to stay home and take care of the folks once they was get too old. While all the other siblings was go around, muck around the downtown and extending the family nation of the generation. What? When Christians came in the Wakas in the 19th century, many things got turned topsy 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 upside down. Clothes was the new fashion, and the third gender was not appreciated for their many skills in life. These days, Fafafine has become a personal choice, and not so much a boy picked to do the girls' chores around the house. That's lucky. Know your roots, and know people before you judge people, because if you don't know your roots, your roots will be pulled off your ulu by my bare hands, and used as Fafa's hair extensions for Saturday night and Matafanga. Better than a horse hair, eh? <laughs> 
Fresh has 10 double passes to the movie Siones 2 and 5 copies of the official soundtrack up for grabs. Head to our website for more details. www.tvnz.co.nz forward slash fresh. See you there. Wow, always important to know your route from Fafa Fine to Fafa Fabulous. Now, as you know, all us islanders love to dance, and I am no exception. But I like to leave the hard stuff to the professionals, like this next group, Ura Tabu, who are taking Pacific flavors and blending them into a style that can only be described as fresh. We are Ura Tabu. The concept of Pacific Meat Barbie is based on the classic hula doll, the hula doll and the commercialization of our Pacific Island cultures. We actually took a trip to Hawaii last year, so that was our inspiration, seeing all the hula dolls, seeing how a beautiful culture has gone commercial, and we're not saying it's a bad thing or a good thing, it's just the way it is. We have five girls representing different Pacific Island cultures. They're Barbie dolls on their little Barbie doll boxes. And the audience, they have a chance to come push play on their little CD players, sort of like a try me kind of Barbie thing. And they get to see the hula doll dance. We're testing the waters with the street theater performance installation. If there is negativity, people will start talking and maybe think, well, why are they doing that? What is happening with our culture? So it strikes up questions and conversations and you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that, yeah. We're trying to break out of this comfort zone that we've been in. We keep trying to push the boundaries with our Pacific Island culture. It's for us, it's for educating our community and what's out there. So we're definitely moving forward. Dear Bonds and Bonds, this is the first time I've written in for advice, but I'm feeling a bit desperate. I've got a big premiere coming up, you fancy premiere, coming up soon, and I need to be red carpet ready. Do you have any tips for me? Now this is from Noddy Bafanga Siever from Shortland Street. What say you, sis? Um, I think we're gonna ask Helen on this one, and I think if Helen was here, she would say, on behalf of all New Zealanders, uh, to you, Mr. Noddy Bafanga Siever, you and all the other boys, Mario Gawara, uh, Oscar Kitely Knightley, um, and Aya Hito Ohe and Dave Funny. You guys are absolutely brilliant. You know, I felt like they captured the drama of it, the essence of it, and that's what makes you a true Kiwi. Fantastic, fabulous, absolutely loved it. I don't know why they didn't cast me, to be quite frank with you. <laughs> I'm unfinished business, if you ask me. Is that what it's called, unfinished business? Yes, it is. Because I actually saw the premiere of the premiere, Robbie, so it's a... Ooh, I actually accidentally let his name slip, but I like seeing your name, Robbie. You really get me excited. You make me go red, red for labour. Tina Koto, Tina Koto, Tina Coat Hanger. Great. Ah, uh, buddy and bunny, you've got to make your own film. Sorry you couldn't make the cut in S2. Anyway, coming up on Fresh, we head to Apollo Cinemas for the premiere of Sionis 2. Samoans, man, we love to laugh, man. So tonight this guy's going to go off like a nuclear bomb. And we take a sneak look into the wonderful world of Shimpal Alisi. A lot of the stuff I do, I do for my grandma. Kevin, 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 hey, where's my five dollars? Oh, Kevin, it back to you yesterday. <laughs> 
Welcome back, Freshies. Well, here we are. The premier of Siones wedding two of here we are. Peter in Samoa. Uh, we've probably we've got a lot of families here, yeah. no doubt. You've got relatives here too. I, I have a day. In fact, I've got a cousin right here. What? Come here. Come here. Really? Is yeah. It? Is it? This is my cousin. My cousin. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. So uh, stay tuned and be back soon with us freshies. Yeah. Your freshies too. Have a break, have a kick, cat. So you walk away. The welcome that we've been given and the vibe from all the people here just makes us feel really good. So it's very comfortable territory and, uh, and, and I think people are going to have fun, hopefully. Special dedication to all our family. Are we going, are we going now? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, darling. Okay, easy. Yeah. Love you guys. Okay, let's go. Please welcome for the first time on the red carpet, Talila Blakely. Make some noise, people. Oscar Daisy. Hey, Tony. Hey, this is Aieto. And of course, Sexy Vice of it all, Robbie. Everybody give it up for Mario. And of course, bad boy Seppa. Chappelle Lelisi. Samoans, man, we love to laugh, man. So tonight is going to go off like a nuclear bomb. It is appropriate to have a premiere here in Samoa because it's actually about Samoans. He'll take you in his taxi. Oh, okay. Um, will we have to pay for the taxi? No. It makes fun, but uh, it does teach us lessons and tells us things that are uh, very Samoan. You love. When I'm not dressing up, I am actually a bit of a tomboy, so I fit in quite nicely behind the scenes. Um, and I think I probably play a lot more of a ladylike character on the screen <laughs> than I am off the screen. I think they're going to love it. I think they're going to love Sefa. Sefa is an amazing Shimpal Elise, is an amazing actor, and I've always rated him. From the reviews we see on Facebook, everybody says it's much better than the first, so we well, don't have any reason to not believe that, and I think it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. What's up, Fresh? I want to go and last, and I want to read the vibe, and if there's any kind of glimmer of rock throwing, I'm going to be right by the door, out there. And they throw them like baseballs. Man. Boom. I'm not scared. I'm not scared, That's man. I'm sticking with I'm not Dave. scared. I'm not scared. And I'm building our team mentality to make our search more efficient. Well, it, was, it, was it, was bad. Bad. it was bad. It was real. <laughs> Coming through, Sellers! No, watch it, watch it, watch it. You got him there. Take him down. Ah! Damn it, Stan! How many times I've told you to take that bloody thing off? And I told you I can't. I think it was hilarious. Great. It was funny from beginning to finish. Wonderful to see my own Samoan boys. Way much better than the first one. I recommend it. I'm going to tell my daughter in Utah. It's always good to see, you know? Samoan being represented and being being able to be proud to call yourself a Samoan, so yeah, it's awesome. You have, a, you have a special connection to the movie watching your own people up on the big screen. 